Right, welcome back to the final destination. This is the final level in SSX Death Zone. SSSX. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, this is actually pretty hard. Zoe versus Boo. Are we gonna finish this in one episode? Yeah, let's let's hope so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not very practical to actually throw your snowboard out first. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but it looks cool. Okay, so we didn't get a chance to upgrade our gear. We don't need it. Don't we need a wingsuit for this level? Yeah, we do, but we got one, and it's amazing. <laughs> Dude, a wingsuit. I've missed this. Yeah. That's the best thing with replaying this game. You can have, like, the wingsuit with you. If I drop this now and do... Yeah, it's, it's fine. Why the fuck would you do that? Because it's all for the style, baby. Okay. Let's do this. Keep your tricky. You need to go... Like this. Yeah, just, it's really easy to keep it, if you... Okay, so you have a headlamp and a wingsuit. Yeah. And that's actually possible. It's possible to have, like, four items on you. Okay, so I remember when I played this before that I used to choose a particular path. And just stick with that one. Fuck. It's much better to just stick with one path and learn than uh, to go on another path. I actually remember this stage now. Yeah, it's really fun. It's good. Like, uh, this is definitely, this is actually very good game design. This is how you make the final stage, by just making it uh, the final test. Taking everything you've taught the player throughout the game and putting it into the same, putting it all together. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, did you learn the things you should have learned by now? I think this, the whole campaign of this game is really good for just preparing players. Jesus Christ. Fuck. This is really bad. Here we go. Come on. For, uh, for the online and just playing the game with other people. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So I'm probably gonna get down, but I'm probably not gonna win this. Jesus Christ. Unstable. We're not that much behind though. Might still be able to make it. Of course, the last level gotta be a race too. Yeah. So this this level has uh, it has the wingsuit, it has the headlamp, it has avalanches. Yeah, you have armor too. Yeah. It has it all. Oh no! Fuck. Did he just jump off the ledge? I think... Did he? Did we win? Try again. No, fuck, we didn't win. My turn. Yeah, you do it. I could have won. I just... Didn't feel like it. No. Let's go. I'm gonna do, kill do him. Do a trick, do a trick. Uh. I'm gonna kill his ass. Yeah, kill his ass. This is one of the best levels, it really is. Yeah, sometimes like the hard levels are the good levels. Yeah, because this is pretty good balanced. Some levels in this game is just way too hard. I think there is more levels than actually that are played, more than there are in the story also. Like we haven't played all the levels yet, but we've played most of them.
boosting. Hey Griff. Griff. Fuck you, Griff. Damn it! Do you remember in SSX where you could hit them? Yeah. That was the it, shit. It was really hard to actually get in something mm. because you are so small and so big, so big stages. Yeah. So it was really difficult to actually get a hit in. But it was pretty funny though. Yeah. It wasn't really worth it either. <laughs> there was like an... Um, you could upgrade your stats. There was a individual stat for just hitting people and taking hits. It yeah. was kind of useless. That, that was actually, in SSX3, you could like, uh, customize, select which tricks you uh, you would want yeah. wanted to have. You can map out your tricks. You yeah. could uh, upgrade like skill points and all that. That was actually a pretty deep game. Hmm. Damn, Griff, you being tricky. No, Griff is just useless. Yeah, Griff sucks. Yeah. Whoa. That's good. That's not so good. Damn it! <laughs> okay, whatever. Restarting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time it's my turn. If we if we go over into a new episode, then it's your turn. Sure. Zero point zero point sixty nine seconds behind. Wow, such a coincidence. Mm -hmm. So I've been like studying virtual reality all day because I think you were gonna talk about locomotion in virtual reality, right? For your yeah, yeah. Are you still doing that? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing that too. Locomotion in virtual reality. Yeah. Okay. So, whoa. Whoa. what have you been like searching for or finding? <coughs> Not very much. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking about the, the like uh, the uh, treadmills and the omnidirectional? Um, we're we're probably gonna focus more on like software. So like, whoa, dude. Yeah, we're probably gonna focus more on like um, the ways you can do it with controllers and stuff like that. Okay. Solutions yeah, there that are many don't ways. cost like too much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that's the problem with uh, treadmills and stuff. You have to buy them. They take up place in your living room. Yeah. It's pretty sucky. Um, one way. One thing that I heard from uh, Martin, who has a virtual reality headset, is that their Google Map, I think, or Google Earth, have implemented something pretty cool in their uh, how they do movement in the in the maps. Mm -hmm. It was some kind of uh, when you move or something, there is a tunnel vision or something, and it reduces uh, motion sickness. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I think it's still teleporting, but they used some kind of tunnel vision. And he tried it and it really felt good. So it might be possible actually to get around this whole motion sickness thing with visual cues also for movement. Hmm. Yeah. 
hit this. I just got a notification from YouTube. Someone has commented on something I said, I think. It <laughs> says, bro, Sega does what Nintendo don't. <laughs> and I just want to see if he's trolling or if he's just uh, complete. Dude, he has Mario for... Uh, for, uh, for uh... That's true, actually. So he's probably, uh, he's probably a Nintendo fan. Oh, that was close. That was really close. But we all know that Sega is much better than Nintendo. Said no one ever. <laughs> we all know that Sonic is better than Mario. Said every Sonic fan. Yeah. And my original character is better than your original character. My original character is better than Sonic. Dude, no, no original character is better than Sonic. <laughs> Sonic is the, is the overlord. Sonic is our god. I wonder if Sonic fans have Sonic as like... Arch. God in their room. That they have like, uh, they like pray to to Sonic and Sega. Yeah. They worship him. You can still make it. Yeah. I think I. Uh, I think you, you're gonna win this. Yeah, if you just kind of in don't do. Um, the kind of um, side spins to left and right. I think uh, when you're actually going to deploy your wingsuit, yeah, I think that will be easier, and you will not have to waste as much time as to actually getting up straight. Yeah, that's probably true. Oh, I'm so angry! I wanted to play this one. Got it. You're good. You're good. <sighs> Success. So, so that's SSX. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Fuck you, Griff. Stand there. No one's gonna come get you. <laughs> you are not Griff. Yeah. So All right. the characters do have their own stats in this game. Did you know mm -hmm. that? Like, some characters are better at certain stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Mac. So yeah, here are the credits, I guess. Yeah. Or just kind of... Concept this is art. the end of the game. This is really interesting concept art, though, because this game must have been difficult to design. Yeah. Really like Simon's design in this game. No, I feel like they tone, they tone down everyone's designs too much. Mm. Especially Simon's. Yeah. The concept art, the concept art was a lot better. I also like the the, the Tainer concept art more too. Tainer, yeah. The Tainer. he had like uh, rust uh, things. Yeah. yeah. These designs are way better. Okay. Moby's, I guess, decent. But like, I think the. The wear, the clothes, yeah, make everyone seem pretty just vanilla. Yeah, takes out of there because look at the clothes here; they seem a lot like. Ah, yeah, I suppose it's correct. But... Stay Really nice concept art. Yeah. We disappear into the sun. I, I think often 2D art is a lot more appealing than 3D art. Yeah. I can't really tell why. I mean, 2D has a lot more freedom than 3D. Yeah. In a weird way. Because you can just do a lot of like crazy stuff that 3D doesn't really allow you to do. Mm. 
like um, like perspective manipulations and stuff like that. Exactly, it's it's often like the best view, the best perspective, the best view, the best pose. It's always like. Yeah, 2D gives you a lot more freedom with creativity, while um, 3D gives you a lot more freedom with uh, adjustments and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, 2D gives you more like creative freedom, while 3D gives you more um, practical freedom. Yeah. 3D Oops. is great for like just uh, maybe making a, a scene that you want to draw and viewing it from the right perspective and everything yeah I mean these concepts are really nice SSX oh my god this game this game is the shit <sighs> here we go we did it we finished the game there is nothing more There is DLC, mm, yeah. uh, the Eddie DLC, but yeah, we don't have it. And really, the point of the game is to play online after this, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have all the the explore stages here. There is 250, 150 free drops, that's pretty much. Didn't I press the other option? I'm not sure. There we go. Yeah, exactly. A lot of stages here. It's mostly just replaying old stages. But with like, maybe a race stage is now a trick stage, yeah. or whatever. Here we can see the... the Eddie Nitty. Uh, Eddie Ed, Nitty! Eddie Ed, Nitty! Do, 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 do! So... <laughs> do! <laughs> Ed, hello, man. Oh, I can't do that shit. So I guess we're done. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it's 72 kroner or something worth it. If you can get online to work, it's totally worth it, probably. I don't know. Nah. Let's, uh, let's end the series let's here. Let's end this. Yeah. So yeah, we actually finished another game. Have we done this before? Finished a game? Uh, we finished Inside and we finished Dead or Alive. But have uh, we finished anything else? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, so Dead or Alive is the most appealing game so far. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, so we'll see you in the next DL Arcade series. Whenever that happens. Bye. See you then. Bye.